Hi, I'm Kerry Louise. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. Um, but I'm here to talk about Darby Vanity. Obviously there is a lot of controversy on the subject, but for those of you that do know me, know that I am very good friends with Darby. I've done two of their UK tours and I toured Europe with them. So I'd say, you know, I've got a pretty good idea on Darby, so. First of all is, I was looking through Facebook yesterday and I came across a page that kind of bothered me. It was called Jail Darby Vanity, which obviously, me being his friend, I was like, I'm gonna look through this and see what they have to say. First of all, something that caught my attention was there was talking about plagiarism. Okay, songs had similarities, I get it, you know. Obviously you can find songs that sound the same. I mean, Green Day got fucking told off for using the same chord progression, but you know, you can't, not all music will always be different. Look how many songs have been out in the world, there's always gonna be similarities between some songs, but it seemed like they were literally just trying to target Blood on the Dance Floor in any way they could. And it was saying like Time Machine sounded a hell of a lot like Wake Me Up with September Ends by Green Day and I am a fucking massive fan of both. But I also tell you that and have a Green Day tattoo on my hip, come on. They sound nothing alike, it's fucking bullshit. But what bothered me on this page is that um, they also had links to the, you know, the truth about Darby Vanity Tumblr, which I've been through and to be honest I found it quite laughable. Because obviously there is the whole rape thing and People have put a print screen of a document from the police with all, obviously Darby's details on it and stuff but what well, people don't see that it's not a charge, he was never charged. He was arrested, they found absolutely no evidence and he was set free. Simple. How many people have been arrested under false accusations? Tons. But there's nothing against him. Go on the internet and see if you can find me a mugshot of Darby to prove that he's ever been charged with anything. You cannot find one. You cannot find one. And obviously, there's a huge blog about many, many different things. Obviously, one was talking about underage people being with Darby and Darby sleeping with underage people. Now, I have been on tour with them twice. Once we're on the UK, once through UK and Europe. And anyone who has ever hung out with us, even just to just come back today and just have a chat and hang out, has been ID'd. Everyone gets ID'd. Everyone. No one underage is allowed to hang out. Obviously, he will do signings and come outside and talk to people who are underage, but no one that hangs out with us is underage. They're not. Never. Not at all. So that was just laughable. Um, obviously, there's other things. People are saying that he's a bully. Okay. All I can say is that online, yes, Darby has said a few things, but put it this way. If you look at what people say to Darby for them him to reply it's a million times worse Darby gets comments every fucking day people tweeting him on Facebook everywhere slating him off are you telling me that someone doesn't have the right to defend themselves because if someone said shit to me online I'd go back in fact Darby ignores so much of it and I don't know how he does it because I'd be on there 24 7 telling these people and I can also vouch for the fact that Darby isn't a bully because I have spent a lot of time with him. He has never been anything but lovely to me. Ever. I mean, there's been times on tour when we've all been so stressed and I've just started crying and I've been fucking pissed off and upset. And he's literally just hugged me and was like, don't worry about it. It's all going to be okay. You know, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. He was, he'd, he's never bullied me, never done anything to hurt me, anything to upset me. He's done nothing but support me and be my friend throughout. So how people can say he's a bully without even knowing him is quite fucking hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And then um, they were also posting stuff up about the blog to do with Ash Costello. Now, I'm not going to say that I know everything about this story because I wasn't there. I don't know Ash Costello. So I can't say anything about it, but all I can say is from my experiences... Um, they were saying stuff like, oh, he shot Ash Costello with a water gun. You know, he drew on her face with a sharpie pen. Now, I know Darby, okay? Darby is a playful person. Darby likes to mess around and have a laugh. Who doesn't? And, um, <clears throat> me 
me and Darby have done stupid stuff like that before. I mean, we've had fights with poster tubes, we're smacking each other with poster tubes, we've thrown fucking tons of polystyrene at each other. You know, it's still, it's all in good fun. Darby would never do anything like that to intentionally hurt someone. I mean, I get it, if he hurt her by accident, you know, whoops, sorry, you know? He'd never do it on purpose. Never. Darby has never hurt me. Never. So, really, I feel like all of this is just internet garbage that people are saying because one person says it, so the next person says it, so the next person says it. It's just part of the fucking rumour mill. And it's stupid. But what I hate is when people personally say to me, why are you hanging around with Darby? He's a bully, he's a paedophile. How would you know that and I not know that? How? How have you got more knowledge on this than me? I think it's absolutely stupid. And I hate people that have a go at me about it when clearly I know more. And every time I try to stick up for him, no, I don't do, I don't join conversations often just to bash people. I don't do it. I tend to just ignore it and kind of be like, they're going to say what they want, get on with it. But when I do comment because something has really bothered me, I am a butthurt fangirl. I fail to see how I'm a butthurt fangirl when all I'm doing is standing up for my friend. And I don't know many people that wouldn't stand up for their friends, especially when they're a friend as good as Darby and a guy as nice as Darby. I mean, I was just a normal girl in a council flat like I am now, working for minimum wage. And I always wanted to sing and it was my dream and he met me, he heard me sing and he, he did everything for me. He took me on tour. He had me singing on stage. You know, he's literally changed my life for the better and I don't know how anyone could criticise him. I really don't know. So, if you read things on the internet from people that have never met Darby, slagging him off, saying he's a paedophile when they've got no evidence at all, absolutely no evidence and then someone who generally knows him in fact loads of people that know him have put out statements defending him loads of people you know so it's a bit silly to believe i mean look at the whole ian watkins case no one had an idea like there was a small group of people that had a little idea but on the big scale no one knew and he got caught and now he's in prison for 35 years but Darby, who has had all these rumours about him constantly, he would have been searched up by now from all that rumours. And is he in prison? No. Has he been arrested? No. Has he been charged with anything? No. If he'd done anything wrong and he had been charged with a crime relating to underage sex or even just any old sex offence, he would not be allowed to do all-age shows, which he does. He would not be allowed to tour other countries, such as the UK, France and Germany, where he's been. So, you can believe what people say, or you can believe the facts that are in your face. It's up to you. But I just had to get my word out there because I am absolutely sick of seeing it. And any fan that tries to defend him gets absolutely slagged off to their face, and I think that's disgusting. So, just thought I'd get my say in there as a friend of his, someone who knows him, and someone who can stick up for him in a way that people may actually listen to. So, if you've listened to this and maybe changed your opinions, that's great. If you haven't changed your opinions, that's fine. Believe what you want. Just don't sag people off for not believing the rumours. Because they're the people who aren't naive. Thank you.